Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Chinese with Christine. I'm so happy to see you guys again here. Right, so in this video, we're going to talk about full usage of Chinese particle ba. So in the first video, we have talked about only one very common usage of ba. So you can click there to check the details. Right, so let's get started the first use of Chinese particle ba in this video. Right, about this usage, we put ba in a tag question. Right, we use it to ask for agreement or confirmation. As we all know, a tag question is not really a real question. We just hope that the listeners can agree with us or the speakers just think what they're saying are true, but they would like to get a confirmation. Right, let's take a look at some examples. The first example, 你是中国人,对吧? 你是中国人,对吧? Which means, you are a Chinese, aren't you? You are a Chinese, aren't you? Of course, this sentence you can also change it into 你是中国人吧? 你是中国人吧? You can delete 对 here. So, the first one, 你是中国人,对吧? 对吧? It's similar to right in English. So, the second example, 你是中国人吧? Is similar to you are a Chinese, aren't you? Similar to aren't you? Right. The next example, 你们很饿吧? 你们很饿吧? You must be hungry, aren't you? You must be hungry, aren't you? The next example, 不对吧? 不对吧? Which means that's not right, is it? That's not right, is it? So have you got the first usage here? So right now, here we come to the second usage of Chinese particle ba. So in the second usage, we use ba to show the agreement and to soften the mood to make yourself sound more friendly. For example, 我们去看电影吧? 我们去看电影吧? Let's go to see a movie. Let's go to see a movie. Look, this usage is similar to the first usage in the last video. So that usage, it's about to show the suggestion. So here is similar to make yourself sound more friendly. If you delete ba here, it will sound like that you want to force your friends to go to see a movie with you. You don't even want your friends to consider whether he or she wants to do it or not. Right, another example. 我可以用你的笔吗? 我可以用你的笔吗? May I use your pen? May I use your pen? And to respond to this question, you can say 用吧, 用吧, which means just use it, just use it to show that you can definitely and you are definitely ready to help your friends. All right, so let's come to the third usage of 吧. So the third usage is in a statement. So in the statement, we use particle 吧 to express the mood of determination or reluctance. For example, 我们去看电影吧? 我们去看电影吧? Still the same example. Let's go to see a movie. Let's go to see a movie. To respond to this question, you can say 好吧? 好吧? But if you say 好吧, it will sound like mm, Okay, let's go then. Mm, okay, let's go then. Obviously, it sounds more reluctant. It's not that friendly. Another example. 你这作文写得不是很好呀? 你这作文写得不是很好呀? You didn't do really well in the composition. You didn't do really well in the composition. And then to respond to this question or this statement, you can say, 那我再写一遍吧。那我再写一遍吧, which means then I'll write it again. Then I'll write it again. Obviously, according to the tone, you can tell you don't really want to do it again. You are quite reluctant. It sounds like you're forced to do it. So you put ba there. Let me give you an example. For example, in this sentence, 那我再写一遍吧? Ba here to show your reluctance. If you delete ba, it will sound, oh yeah, I really want to write it again. 那我再写一遍. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense if you don't want to do it. <laughs> right, the last example. 我可以晚点出门吗? 我可以晚点出门吗? Can I go out a little bit later? Can I go out a little bit later? 
to respond to this question. 随你便吧, 随你便吧, which means have it your own way. Have it your own way. According to this response, you can tell that the speaker doesn't really want you to go out, but he or she has no choice to do but let you go out. Mm. Right, let's come to the fourth usage, which is the last usage in this video. Before talking about the last usage of ba, let's draw a conclusion about the previous usage of ba. So in the previous sentences, we can tell we normally put ba just at the end of the sentence, but in this usage, it's quite different. We just put ba in the middle of the sentence to show the pause, to stop a sentence. For example, 我觉得吧,你最好去见见他 Which means, as for me, I think it's better for you to go and visit him As for me, I think it's better for you to go and visit him So here, you put ba in the middle of the sentence to show that you are actually thinking about the next content or to make the listeners focus on the next part Another example. 就拿喝茶说吧,里面有很多研究。就拿喝茶说吧,里面有很多研究. Take drinking tea as an example. There are a lot of elements to pay attention to. Take drinking tea as an example. There are a lot of elements to pay attention to. Look, you put ba in the middle to show the pause. Alright, so these are all about very, very common usage of Chinese particle ba. So if you have any questions about this usage, you can just drop your comments down there and I'll definitely answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I can help you something more about Chinese particle ba. So if you want to know more about the other particles, for example, no, ah, or, you can check the next videos. See you the next time.